What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Hope everyone is having a good day today. We got a brand new video for you guys. It's a review of a pretty sweet pair of shoes as you can tell by the title. I'm pretty pumped to do this review for you guys, but first a couple things. We are this close away from hitting 75,000 subscribers, which is just an awesome number. So huge thank you to you guys. I don't know, I, I don't say it enough. I should say it every single video, but I appreciate you guys a whole bunch. Like the opportunities that you guys have opened up for me, the fact that I'm able to make videos for you about shoes and just share that with all you guys. And I wouldn't be able to do any of it without you guys watching and supporting the videos. So I really, really do appreciate every single one of you that is subscribed. Just one little thing I'd like to throw out there. I did set up a Patreon account. Basically what that is, is if you guys really support the channel and uh, you would like to go like the extra mile, obviously don't feel pressure to, there is a Patreon link down in the description. What you can do there is you can pledge money and what I want to do with this is if we can get enough people on board, you know, like if we have lots of people donating like one dollar a month or whatever, I would love to be able to travel out to different sneaker events across the United States and Canada as well and meet up with a whole bunch of you guys and I'd like have people vote on which sneaker events I'd go to and stuff. So if you guys are interested in pledging to my Patreon account, first off you're the best person on earth because you definitely don't need to do that. But anyway, there is a link in the description. Enough of me talking about that crap though. We're, we're all here for the shoes. Let's be serious. We are all here for the shoes. Let's take a look at these bad boys. It is the Kobe 11 Elite Low 4KB. I got size 12 and a half, uh, the, the size that I prefer in most shoes, like I'm true 12 and a half. And the colorway is white, multicolor, and multicolor. Suggested retail was $220. Thankfully, I was able to get these for a pretty good deal. But anyway, guys, here's the shoe. This shoe is sweet. I did an unboxing video of these probably like four or five days ago, and I was pretty, I, I was pleasantly surprised, I'll, I'll put it that way, I was pleasantly surprised when I pulled these out of the box, saw them in hand, because these things are really, really, really nice. Definitely my favorite Kobe 11 to release thus far. There's been some okay colorways, there's been some really bad colorways in my mind, uh, but there hasn't been anything that I'm like, whoa, that's nice, I need to get that until these, I thought the Easters were going to be super nice in person, I really do not like how those look at all, that mango does not look the same in real life as it looks in the picture, so just a warning for you guys if you're considering buying them online, but if you guys would like to get any pairs of Kobe 11s, there is definitely a link down in the description where you can do that, I'd recommend them, like, it's a great, comfortable, fairly lightweight shoe. I'm sure it's a great basketball shoe as well. I haven't played in these, but I would definitely recommend them for casual use. So if there's a colorway that you like, I would definitely give my stamp of approval on the Kobe 11. But taking a look at the bottom, you got your regular Kobe 11 traction pattern, this time in just all white, nothing much going on there. You have your white midsole as well. And then moving on to the flyknit upper, it's a really, really crazy looking thing. So it's not just 100% flyknit. You do have this TPU yarn, which is basically a plastic uh, little little plastic strings essentially woven all through this fly net so it still gives it sort of like the uh, flexible feel of a fly net and the breathability of a fly net but it does give it more reinforcement and more durability so it's not going to fall apart when you're playing basketball in it which I think is definitely a plus because if you guys know playing basketball in a mesh or a fly net shoe really kills the longevity of how long you're going to be able to play in it and the durability is just not really there but this seems to have fixed it I had a player on my team this season that wore the Kobe 11s playing basketball in them and he wore them the entire season and they showed no signs of wear so that is a really good thing on the midfoot of course you have your multicolor which is probably the coolest part of the shoe why so many people are really liking it and you have your volt flywire going up to these white laces the tongue is sort of a padded type mesh type neoprene thing it has a bit of stretch to it so there's definitely some sort of neoprene or something in there and then on top of the tongue it is white leather with your Kobe Shizuku logo I absolutely love the gold lace tips on these I think that's probably one of my that's probably my second favorite part of the shoe besides the multicolor on the midfoot is the gold lace tips that just gives it that extra little bit of pop gold lace tips on a pair of shoes is always going to be a plus in my books and then on the heel you have this little metallic champagne gold strip usually Usually on Kobe 11s there would be a big plastic heel cup there with the uh, big red stripes and then on the other shoe you would have sort of like a logo of what type of colorway that shoe was but on this one you just have this little strand or this little thing of gold right there I'm not really sure what to call it just a little piece of fabric with your rubber pull tab which is another thing you don't usually have on the Kobe 11 you do not usually have that pull tab 
So they did do a couple things different than the regular Kobe 11. Is it an elite version? By no means, I don't think so. Like the only differences are you have your white leather swoosh stitched on instead of a synthetic swoosh. You, the back is like a little bit different with your pull tab. And then of course you have your leather tongue. Those are honestly the only differences between these and a regular Kobe 11. Definitely nothing that's like a step up in performance. It's the exact same shoe essentially. Just be aware of that when you're purchasing these. But if you guys would like to grab them, I'd recommend them. I think these things are really, really sweet. I tried these on as soon as I got them, wore them around the house like all day. They're extremely comfortable. Uh, the Lunar Lawn insert with the Nike Zoom on the back is a really nice cushioning setup and I absolutely love wearing these. I can't wait for like all the mud and gravel and dust all over the place to just disappear once spring is finally over or once spring is finally here I guess and I can break these out because this is definitely a great summertime and spring shoe because you know just just look at it like this screams summertime this screams spring this screams dopeness like this is a sick pair of sneakers but anyway guys thank you for watching I'm gonna leave you here with the on foot look of the Kobe 11 Elite Low 4KB so thank you for watching guys I already said that I'll thank you again thank you thank you thank you make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video so until then Peace.